Hello everyone. This is our first lecture of chapter Force and Newton's Laws of Motion. And the topics I am going to cover in this session are as follow. Force is defined as any external effort in the form of push or pull that changes or tends to change the state of motion. Force results due to interaction between the two bodies. Force can have different effects on an object. Force can make a body move which is at rest. Force can stop a moving body or slow it down. Force can change the shape and size of the body. Force can accelerate the speed of a moving body. And force can also change the direction of a moving body. Balanced and unbalanced forces. Balanced forces are those in which the resultant of all the forces acting on a body is zero. Whereas unbalanced forces are those in which the resultant of all the forces acting on a body is not zero. When an unbalanced force acts on a body, it produces motion in the body. Next we have Newton's first law of motion. According to Newton's first law of motion, an object at rest tends to stay at rest and an object in motion tends to stay in motion with the same speed and in the same direction unless an external force is acting on it. Let us study Newton's first law of motion with the help of following activities. As shown in animation, the ball remains in its state of motion till an external force is acting on it. Here in this example, we can see the ball remains in its state of rest till an external force is acting on it. Here we see that when an external force is acting on a ball at rest, it changes its state. From the animation, we can observe that when an external force acting on the object which is in motion, the object changes its position. From all the observations, we can conclude that an object at rest tends to stay at rest and and an object in motion tends to stay in motion with the same speed and in the same direction unless an external force is acting on it. Next we have inertia. Inertia is a property or tendency of every object to resist any change in its state of rest or of uniform motion. These are of three types inertia of rest, inertia of motion, and inertia of direction. Let us study all these inertias in details. First we have inertia of rest. Inertia of rest is the resistance offered by the body to remain in rest unless an external force is not applied on the body. For example, if you flick the cardboard very quickly, then coin stays in the same place and drops into the glass. Inertia of motion. 
inertia of motion is the resistance offered by the body to change its state of uniform motion unless an external force is not applied on the body for example when brakes are applied in a moving bus then passenger falls in the forward direction inertia of direction inertia of direction is the resistance offered by the body to change its direction unless an external force is not applied on the body there's a common question which comes in exam why do we fall backward when suddenly bus or train start moving when a bus or a train starts suddenly the passengers standing inside tend to fall backward this is so because the lower part of his body starts moving with the bus or train but the upper part tries to remain at rest due to inertia of rest factors on which inertia of a body depends the main factor that affects the inertia of a body is its mass inertia is that quantity which depends solely upon mass the more the mass the more inertia i am assigning you this worksheet which is based on today's session thank you